purpose of this video is to show how we can display a note and set a cell to be the terminator for that note from our cell library. Um, so what we're going to do is create a new dimension style for placing our notes um, and kind of show a couple of the settings that need to be set in the dimension style so that it can display those cells. Uh, so the first thing I want to do, I'm going to open up my cell library uh, and show um, I have a set of shared cells and if we look at a couple of these different cells we can use we have this closed blank we have an open 30 these are going to be two that we're, we'll just kind of show how we can set these um, in order to show how we can change the terminator that displays on our notes okay so we want to know the names of these cells when we create our dimension style we're going to need to know that value the name so I'm going to come in first to place note and I want to open up a dimension style editor and I'm going to create a new dimension style okay so I'm just going to call this test and we're going to set a couple of options here under the geometry tab we want to make sure that for our terminators we're going to set this to be the arrow is set to the cell and we need to type in the name of the cell that we're going to use. Okay, so for the name, I need to type in underscore closed blank. Okay, I'm going to hit enter on that, and you'll notice that in the preview at the bottom it changes the preview of that as well. Um, and then the other thing that we need to make sure is under the text option for the terminator under the notes, because we're going to be placing a note, we want to make sure that our terminator is set to the second option here. Okay, so once we have that set, I'm going to save that dimension style, and we're going to place a note. Uh, so we'll just put in uh, ROW for right-of-way, uh, and we are using that dimension style. Um, so let me get out of that, open up the place note command again, just to make sure that our place note command is open. Uh, we're going to use our dimension style of test that I just created and then we'll type in our text that we want to place. So I'm going to locate our position of our note and we're going to place that and you'll notice that our cell gets placed that is our closed blank. So if I want to change this cell let's say that I want to use the open 30 is what I want to use as my terminator. So in the dimension styles I'm just going to come in select my dimension style and then under the geometry for the terminators, I'm going to change the name and I'm just going to type in the name of the cell that I want to use. And then when I save and I say uh, the style is in use, do I want to make changes to ones that appear? If I say yes here, you actually notice that on the fly it will change that cell. So that's how we set a cell to display as a terminator line. The main things we need to make sure we do are under the dimension style, the terminators, we need to set the symbol the arrow needs to be set to cell, type in the name, and the, under the text option, under the notes, we need to make sure that our terminator is set to this option here uh, for displaying that cell as a terminator. 